All right, Wiz, thanks very much. Let's talk a little heart health now. This Monday during Heart Health Month, we're once again sharing an important facet. MedStar Health, Dr. Reginald Robinson is joining us to talk about monitoring your own blood pressure. Good to see you this morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Great, great to be here. It was good to follow the segment on cocaine bear since cocaine can certainly elevate your blood pressure. I tell you what, I don't think I've had anybody t this many people talk about a movie like this, the, the attention this is generating. Uh, but you know what? You're absolutely right. And no matter what it is, it gets us worked up. Maybe it's stress. Maybe it's our diet. You know, it's it's there. Right. And we're concerned about our blood pressure. What I'm curious about is the best way that we can actually monitor this at home before we have to come see somebody like yourself. Yeah, I tell all my patients to get a home blood pressure monitor. And that's the best way because when you see your doctor in the office, you're only going to get one blood pressure, maybe two. And you don't want us to make a decision based on one blood pressure reading, right? So get a home blood pressure monitor, check some home blood pressures, and take your actual machine with you when you go back to see your physician. Have it out already so when they check it, you can check it right behind them with yours to make sure your machine is, one, working correctly and that you can... Uh, really trust your home readings. Boy, that's a great point, the last one that you made there. Uh, and, and I'll tell you this, full disclosure, uh, just walking into your office, and, and I say you as a doctor, uh, I think my blood pressure goes up. So I, I think I want to take it at home first to get an idea of what it is. If I get the, the machine at home, is there anything that I need to look for? To, is one machine better than another? Well, there are several machines, and you can go on the consumer website to, to look at them. So I don't want to promote one particular brand. There are several. Usually you want to use the, uh, the cuff like you see here on, the, on your screen. Um, it's probably a little better than the wrist cuff. Okay, good to know. Uh, so we get that, we can monitor ourselves at home, and now we realize maybe we're a little high. Not like really high, but a little high. What are some of the best ways that we can bring that back down? So one of the things that the American Heart Association did was put this new category of 130 to 139 over 80 to 89 to start calling it stage one hypertension. That's not really to put you right on blood pressure medication, but it's to really start the alarm going so that you can have what I call TLC or total lifestyle change. One, looking at your diet, that's most important, looking at the amount of sodium. And your physician should really be asking you what your diet history is like. Do you eat a lot of food that comes in box cans or packages? And you know that the grocery stores are really arranged that kind of way. If you walk around the outsides of the grocery stores, you have more fresh products. When you go up and down the aisles, that's where you're going to find a lot of the processed, canned, packaged, and high-sodium content foods. So diet obviously plays a huge role here when it comes to, uh, to that. If we, if we see we're in that uh, 130 to 139 range, uh, you know, sometimes it's temporary, right? It might just spike if it's a high-stress situation or, or maybe something you ate recently. How long should we monitor it? Like, if we stay in that 130 for, like, a week, is it bad? If it's a month, is it bad? Like, if, how, how long until we come see you for additional help? So, one, the, the primary care physician is going to be your first point of contact. So I would say giving it over a month, um, not only diet, but also the exercise. If you have things that you can modify, like stress reduction, whether it's through meditation, yoga, pulling yourself away from whatever that stressful event is, if it's all possible, and uh, doing those things first. So blood pr high blood pressure in itself, basically, and I'm simplifying this incredibly, uh, it makes the heart work more, essentially. Uh, so what does that put us in danger of? I mean, obviously, you would think a heart attack, uh, but what else is it that could put us in danger if we let the blood pressure ride too high? So the, I love using analogies, right? When you do a bench press, that top number of your blood pressure is when you're pushing the dumbbell up. The, the bottom of that bottom number, the diastolic pressure, is when you're trying to bring the dumbbell down when you're trying to relax the muscles. So if you're imagining that your heart's beating 20, 30,000 times a day against high blood pressure when you're trying to push and when the muscle's trying to relax, what happens to the muscle of, the, of your arms when you lift weights? They get thicker. And then that can progress to first stages of congestive heart failure. You keep doing that, that can lead to dilation of the heart or the muscle fibers breaking down and progress to heart failure. It can increase your risk of a stroke. It can one of the leading causes in the African American population behind diabetes, leading to uh, kidney failure and ending up on dialysis as well. So all of those things can fall under hypertension, which we call the silent killer because the most common symptom is nothing really. 
Absolutely. I mean, this is such good advice. And the, the number one step is go ahead and get checked, first of all, to get an idea where your starting point is. And then you can work with your physician to get yourself back down to a more normal level. Uh, I love the analogies to both working out and cocaine bear. So we're in the theaters and we're in the gym. This is great. Dr. Robinson, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you so very much. All right. Have a, uh, have a great day. Take Thank care. Thank you so very much. Reginald Robinson with uh, MedStar. Thank you very much.